Should I leave it there or what? You don't have to. Sure, you know where to find it. True. Look, Mike, I owe you an apology. Letting Helen think that. You're stupid. No harm done. Self-defense, I suppose. Anyway, I've straightened it out. I've told her the truth. Oh, God. <laughs> I've changed my story to Phil. You did what? Oh, your pride. Who brought my pride into it? You did. Oh, yes. That's going to be a very confused household. Are we still inside? Don't walk around. I think so. We'd better make that a fast walk. She's bound to believe me. She's my sister. Oh, Philip, believe me. I mean, once a chap confesses to another chap that he's notched his ruler at school, well, a chap is going to believe a chap. Well, you did that too, did you? Yeah. The point is, which one of them is going to believe the other? Perhaps we should issue a joint communique. I could firm. Oh, no, that wouldn't do it. That would just be your version. We'd both have to shout down the phone at the same time for them to believe us. Anyway, it serves them right for trying to foist us off on each other. First place. <laughs> I have an idea they'll give all that up now. Very probably. Well, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Neither would I. Oh, I didn't mean that, actually. I mean, I wouldn't say no to another drink. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> would you like the same again? Yes, please. What did you use to put notches on your ruler for? It? <laughs> Kisses. Did you sell them? No, buy them. <laughs> we ought to have gone to the same school. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do you think we ought to get back? I suspect they've had enough of us for one day. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. Time, gentlemen, please. <clears throat> it's nemesis, isn't it? What? Well, this is the second time we've found ourselves together. And it's the second time it's been a sort of, well, well, a sort of non-time. <laughs> I mean, two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, what, what do you do with a time like that? Hope it passes. <laughs> oh, you too. Mm. Well, at least we've got company. <laughs> Who? Well, each other. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I suppose that's true. Mm. Fancy a walk? I'm not much of a walker. Drive. In your van? Yes. No. <laughs> pictures? No, I don't like going to the pictures in the afternoon. I don't like coming out into the daylight. <laughs> I wonder what Phil and Helen are doing. I wonder. Whatever it is, I bet it's warm and wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yeah.
I've got an idea. Bruton Galleries. An exhibition of ethnic masks. Admission free. <laughs> it would have to be. You really don't fancy the idea? No. Neither do I. Let's go. Why? Well, going to something we both think is going to be awful. Oh. Well, start, isn't it? I bet one of us goes and likes it now. Yeah. <laughs> That's on the cards. I don't know why we're doing this. I imagine kamikaze pilots setting out on their missions had more hope than us. Well, you, you've got to have hope, haven't you? That's a good song title. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's oh, hope. hope. That's all. Hope. <laughs> Tomatoes. But we're as cold as yesterday's mashed potatoes. Ah, fine romance with no wrestling. A fine romance with no nestling. We two are just as prickly as cactus plants. Love hasn't got a chance. This is a fine romance. 